Hello, ladies. I am so excited about our challenge this week. I wanted to just create this quick little welcome message for you and just go over a few housekeeping items. So our five-day challenge starts on Monday. It ends on Friday. It is called, as a reminder, Refresh Your Facebook Business Page and or Instagram account. So you can do both and you'll be given instructions to do so. Um, I think all of you know me by now, but just in case you aren't aware, I own Christine Hall and Associates. My team and I provide a whole bunch of services to small business owners. Lately, we've been focusing a lot on social media management and uh, we're working a lot with realtors. Um, I do offer one-on-one -on -one training. I offer group training and um, I'm doing a lot more of done-for-you templates, uh, personal branding for clients. As you know, I'm the founder of The Mob, but you may not be aware, I'm also the founder of the 100 Women Who Care Mississauga chapter. Oh, we're always looking for new ladies to join us. Um, all right, so what does what's included in the five day challenge? Well, during the challenge, you're going to receive an email each morning at 9 a.m. And inside that email will be your daily task or your prompt on what you need to do to refresh your Facebook page or your Instagram account. I will also provide video instruction for you in case you don't know how to do it. I'll walk you through the steps. Um, there's going to be a private Facebook group where you're going to be um, hanging out with us all week long. I do recommend that you pop in at least once per day. And if you have any questions about any of the tasks that we're working through, you can certainly ask those there. We will be having three live check-ins Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 noon. You, um, When you registered, you got the Zoom link for those, but I'll be sure to share it again with you. And you can ask me any questions related to your tasks um, for that day, or you can ask me other questions that have, may have come up as a result of the tasks. Um, I want to let you know that during this challenge, I will have handouts and cheat sheets and checklists and worksheets. So you'll find those in the group. If the particular instructions or cheat sheet or checklist belongs with a task we're doing, that'll be included also in the email that you get every day. And we'll be, um, you, you will be performing easy, actionable steps each day to refresh your page and or Instagram account. All right, and let's move it along. So just in case you didn't get um, the information I've already stated, I want you to actually put this in your calendar. Okay, so Monday, January 24th is for fourth is when we're starting. 9 a.m. is the email, 12 p.m. is our Zoom uh, check-in. Our session ends on Friday, but if you've worked with me before, you know that really this is just the beginning of our relationship. And for many of you, I see you return training clients, so it's a, truly a continuation. The Facebook group itself will stay up indefinitely, and you can come back and refer to the information, download, and watch the videos at any any time in the future. Um, again, 9 a.m. is when the emails will come with your daily prompt and the videos. And then 12 o'clock on Monday, January 24th, 26th, and 28th, we'll be meeting via Zoom. And uh, make sure to do the homework. Um, you know, knowledge is power, but only if it's applied. <laughs> so what are the topics we'll be covering? We'll definitely cover these topics, and I know others will come up throughout the session or throughout the week together. So I'll answer as many questions as I can for you. Um, so as a, as a quick kickoff here, we're going to make sure that your profile and Facebook cover are up to date. We're going to make sure that your profile um, which is like your personal page, you can link to it and get to it quickly and easily from, uh, from there to your business page. Okay. And not necessarily you, but your clients, potentials, people that may have kind of met you in a Facebook group, um, and have not any previous, um, interaction with you. Uh, we're also going to make sure that all the content inf uh, contact information is set up and up to date on your Facebook and your Instagram, but we'll talk about those in a second. And I'm also going to share with you some ideas on how you can use your Facebook cover banner. That's the biggest real estate you have on your Facebook page. And I'm going to talk about message settings as well and call to action button. I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can set the call to action button up. So if you have, um, maybe you do free discovery calls and you get them to book through a calendar link. Maybe you have a brand new free download or ebook. 
we can uh, make sure that the but we can show you how to change that button so it matches the destination you want and the destination can change maybe you have a big offer a big course a big program a book launch whatever it is we can show you how to change the call to action button there um, we're going to get you to review your content go through it and get rid of things that are no longer aligned with your business that no longer um, are relevant um, we can delete we can archive and we're also going to talk about repurposing and then i'm going to show you a few tips on how to repurpose content if it was good and people liked it then we might as well keep it and you can bring it um uh to the forefront often you know depending on how many uh, new users you get uh or sorry not new users but new followers you can be as you know one to three months you can bring that back and again if it's evergreen even even more often. Um, we're gonna show you how to clean up your page followers and your feed followers. We're gonna show you how you can see a list of all the groups that you're in and how to leave groups or change notifications for the groups um, that you most want to see. And then we're also gonna talk about how to change um, the pin post and how to create one and why you would want one. Okay, so that's the Facebook stuff. And moving forward, Instagram, we're gonna talk about optimizing your Instagram bio, okay? so. You may be offering new products and services this year. We want to make sure that those are in the forefront. Your Instagram bio, once people go there, we want them to click the follow button. So we want to make sure that you are using the, the right key um, SEO keywords. We want to make sure that there's a couple hashtags in there. We want to make sure definitely I have a call to action button. Um, I like to use a link tree as my link um, because it allows me to have like a little landing page where I can have buttons that lead people to all different areas that I'm, I'm as I'm moving them down that buyer journey. So we'll talk about that during the session uh, or during the video prompts. Um, we're also going to make sure that you understand how to do a follower audit and a following audit and then remove or unfollow any uh, any person or account that no longer serves you. We're going to talk about deleting and archiving old posts. And I'm also going to show you how to uh, take a look at the analytics on posts to see which ones were performing. And then again, repurpose those. Uh, we're going to touch on Instagram, um, the story highlights. Those are those circles along the bottom. And um, we're going to make sure that the stories that exist inside there are still relevant and pertinent and really speak uh, the tone and the voice that you are who you are and who your business is, your brand is today. So uh, we'll clean those up. And of course, I'll likely show you a couple little tips and tricks on how you can create some new um, highlights and then upload those. That's kind of bonus little stuff. <laughs> but that's the basic stuff that we are going to cover. And again, if you've attended my sessions, you know, uh, lots more will be thrown in there. We will have the private Facebook group. I'll be inviting everyone to that if you aren't already there. In fact, some of you are watching this video because you're already in the group. I'll ask you to check in once a day, post your questions there and tag me. All our recordings, handouts, and any training videos will be uploaded into the private Facebook group. If you haven't been there yet and you're viewing this video from the email that I sent, then you can um, click on the link to grab that or ac access and um, get into the group from there. Oh, there's still time to register. That was for a different video. I'll just move past that. And I will... Um, let you know that anytime, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. Um, for this course, it'd be great if you could put the questions in the group because then others might have them as well. So that's it. Brief introduction. So excited to see you. Can't wait to work with you. I'm excited to learn more about your business and see how you've progressed since maybe the last time we were in a training session together. I'll see you all on Monday via our Zoom or via Zoom for our first check-in. And I'm just gonna scroll down here and see, you will get an email that does provide you with a direct link that you can click on, but I wanted to let you know, we'll be using this link, ID and passcode for all three of our sessions. And I will include that in both the email and on the Facebook group announcements. So take care everyone, have a great night and we'll see you Monday at noon. Bye-bye now.